FreeCAD 1.1 is getting closer to release. And there are some noticeable changes in the UI that makes the software much more user-friendly. As well as the new search in the FreeCAD preferences that returns a clickable list, letting you jump straight to the options you need. There are a number of UI features that have obviously been inspired by other 3D packages. One of which is the Blender style hints in the status bar. As the FreeCAD tool changes state, the status bar gives the user guidance on what to do next, showing the mouse buttons and or key combinations with their outcomes. For example, when using the polyline in the sketcher, the status bar first tells us to left click to start the line. Once we do, it updates and shows the next operation. Left click to add points, right click to close, or press the M key to switch modes. When we close the geometry by snapping to the start point, the state resets, and we can immediately begin another polyline with the guidance. I found this kind of contextual guidance extremely helpful in Blender, and it's great to see its appearance in FreeCAD, especially in workbenches such as the draft workbench where there's numerous key presses to remember while drafting. Blender isn't the only influence though. There's also a new feature that will remind some of SolidWorks. In FreeCAD part design, when using additive and subtractive operations, we now get draggers to adjust things like length, direction, and taper. For example, we see it here being used with a pad, which in between one and two sided modes, adds additional draggers to the screen. If you want to drag in the opposite direction, just check the reverse box. Here's another example where we're using the Revolve tool. We also can toggle between a ghosted outline and a preview of the end result. Sketches have also received some nice visual enhancements. These include a show placement option in the view menu, which makes it easy to see the local axis and orientation of the sketch. No more fiddling with XY offsets just to figure out your alignment when working with advanced attachment modes. And a new show plane option, which helps with getting your bearings in 3D space, especially when working with multiple sketches used as a skeleton or guides. For such things as more complex forms as lofts and surfacing. Now the import geometry tool has both intersection and projection, these guidelines are much more useful. We can attach coincident to where the guidelines join the plane. Before you had to place extra points along the guides at every cross section location. These are just a few of the improvements in 1.1. At the time of writing, the original feature freeze has passed and FreeCAD 1.1 is moving closer to release. I think we'll all be grateful for these quality of life enhancements that have been added by the developers' hard work. I'm really looking forward to using them and a big thank you to everybody that's contributed to make FreeCAD what it is today. Thanks a lot for watching and look forward to seeing you in the next video.